everyone so this is a little life update don't worry i'm still going to be a practice nurse just stop right there don't panic guys <laughs> but after almost 10 months now of being a newly qualified practice nurse i'm moving practices so the one i'm currently at is just way far basically <laughs> i spend about an hour and 20 minutes trying to get there on two trains 22 miles away sometimes i have the car so i can drive in other days i don't have the car so i can't drive in so yeah it's a bit far and i think 10 months of doing long shifts half eight to half six being manic clinics back-to-back -back patients being so busy plus all the travel on top of that making it into 12 hour days it's just been a little bit much for me and I'm exhausted. I can feel myself starting to burn out. So it was time to make a change where I can. So very conveniently, as I, I, do, I literally just purely on the spare of the moment, just had a look around my area and there was a practice that is literally walking distance from the new house because I'm moving. I don't know if I've told you all that. I'm sure I told you in a different vlog. Haven't moved yet, probably after Christmas now because of lockdown, but anyway, it's literally down the road from the new house. I can walk to work every morning. I can come home at lunchtime, let the dogs out, give them a fuss and go back to work. It's going to be life changing. <laughs> but even now from this house, it's only a couple of miles down the road. So it's still not far. It takes me 10 minutes to get there. So yeah, I'm moving practices. It's going to be a massive help to my health and my well-being. It's just going to be incredible. I'm so excited to start. I've been in twice already to meet the team and sign paperwork and all of that jazz. They are so organised. Like I've got a name badge and everything already before I've even started. It's amazing. So yes, I finished my current role on Monday, the 23rd of November. It might have already gone if you're watching this video in a few weeks. I've probably started my new job. Um, but I start my new role on the 30th of November so a week after next Monday and I can't wait I've reduced my hours as well because I was full-time before so I've reduced my hours slightly to part-time but I can afford to do so I worked out all my finances and I can afford to do that and still pay all my bills because I've got extra little bits that I do outside of work as well that make money so I can sort of catch up like that and it's going to be okay but overall my mental health and my well-being and my sanity is going to be improved and that for me outweighs any money to be honest i'd rather be happy and not make mistakes i would rather be happy and safe than be burnt out and get more pay if that makes sense so my new practice is really really lovely all of the team seem absolutely amazing and supportive and really nice they've already set me up with the first couple of weeks of sitting in with someone and sort of doing the things that i can't do yet just to try and train me up a little bit more because there's still a lot that i can't do i think probably because of the pandemic and covid there were certain things that i could do and i couldn't do so i've been stuck doing the same thing if that makes sense also they really need an asthma nurse so i'm going to be trained to be the asthma nurse Oh, I'm going to be like a specialist in something at some point but yeah I'm going to be the asthma nurse there um, on a Wednesday by the sounds of it and I'm going to do my normal injections wound management ECGs all of that jazz I'm going to be doing still so yeah don't worry about that I'm still going to be doing all my other stuff as well but yeah I'm going to be having nice shifts so my shifts are Monday I think was half eight to one or something and then Tuesday is one till half five and then Wednesday is an all-dayer because that's going to be my asthma day so that is going to be half eight till five I think or half eight to half five Thursdays I'm keeping off so Thursdays has always been my day off I'm staying off on a Thursday guys and then Friday I think it is half eight till four or something like that so really nice shifts I'm going to be able to get home at a decent time I'll be able to cook my dinner and eat early because i've been eating at like half eight nine o'clock most nights these days so it's gonna be really really nice to be sitting down and eating my dinner by six o'clock in the evening to give me plenty of time to digest and rest so yes i will update you as i go when i get started and everything and let you know how i'm getting on what i'm doing as i go as always i'm still on my course obviously my gpn course um i've just done my baby beams training as you saw on my last post my next thing is i think ear so ear examinations and ear irrigation so i'll show you all of that as i go along i suppose i've just got or just getting my cervical sampler trainee code so i can actually start doing the cervical screening so yeah that's where I'm at at the minute. 
On other exciting news, I think I said to you guys before, but I am started to work with Elsevier. So I am an Elsevier ambassador and I'm going to be doing live um, webinars. The next one is going to be next week, I think. Next Thursday, is it? The 26th? Yeah, that's next week, isn't it? Yes. Next Thursday, the 26th, I'm going to do a live webinar. I can't remember what time it is, though. I think it's one o'clock or 12 o'clock potentially 11 o'clock I'll put the links below because yeah I'm rubbish at the minute but yes next Thursday it's going to be all about placements preparing for your placements if you're going on to a placement for the first time it's going to be things such as tips on placements how to deal with difficult situations and mentors and well not difficult mentors I mean you know what I mean um but sometimes you just it's a personality clashes in it sometimes but you have to be professional so yeah I'm going to give you some advice on that a little bit of advice on dealing with death as well impatience shoes all them sort of little things that you really need for placements oh and um what's expected of you so what's expected of you in your first year in your second year in your third years those sort of things so yeah I, i'm excited for it i'm really excited there's so much to put into it i need to try and cut it down a bit because it's only a 40 minute webinar and obviously i want to give you guys time to have questions and i can answer your questions if you've got anything in particular you want answering but i'm going to put the link in the details below click the link register for the webinar look out for some more webinars as well if you're not on Elsevier's Instagram please go onto the Instagram and the Twitter because they will be sharing all of this as well so it's just a good way to keep up to date and be informed basically when they're going to be doing these webinars and things so please keep in touch keep an eye out and join the webinar